Now that we've installed SQL Server 2005, no doubt we're going to run into situations where we need some help. And so let's talk about how to get help in SQL Server 2005. If I go to Start Programs, go to my Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Program Choice menu item, then I can see there Documentation and Tutorials. Now, depending on the version of SQL Server you get, humidity and so forth, you may or may not have some of these. You should see these. But notice on Tutorials, and I'll show you these. There's Mobile Edition and SQL Server Tutorials. If I choose Tutorials, it's going to take me into Online Help, and I want to show you something about the screen. If you haven't seen these, they can be somewhat intimidating or frustrating or irritating, whatever you want to say. First of all, you'll notice that it came up to the tutorials, and you'll notice here they have some great stuff, SQL Server Tools, and I'll click on this, and you need an internet connection to do this, by the way. Notice, for example, my SQL Server Management Studio tutorial. Lesson 1, I can get basic navigation in the SQL Server Management Studio. And so this is showing me how to do this and take care of things. Notice I'll go to the next task. Notice it's showing me how to open it, start all programs, and it just steps me through exactly how to move around and what to do, how to connect with registered servers and so forth. You may like this, you may not. So if you don't like that, I can simply kill this, okay? Then I can mouse over these tabs on the left. And notice what happens when I mouse over a different tab, a different functionality pops out. Now this is borrowed from Microsoft's development, from their Visual Studio development environment, and they've now added that to the SQL Server environment, and it's, and it's really cool. You're going to like it. Because what it does, notice in the screen resolution I'm recording in, which is quite large, if I have these contents out here, then it cuts off a huge chunk of my screen to be able to read. So what I can do is, is I can, notice I can pin this. If I click on this little pin up here, this stays out all the time, and I can see what I'm looking at, and I can open things up and take a look at some information. And notice if I click on something, it brings the details up out here, and I can then begin to navigate through it and get some help. Then, what I can do now at this point, I found what I need is click this pen and let that slide out of the way, and notice I'm now full screen on reading my information. So notice this is the contents, and I can filter by what I want to see. Well, if I have analysis services, and I've got a question about analysis services, I can choose analysis services, and it's going to limit what's returned to me on my any of my choices, questions, searches, or anything. So notice this just got a lot smaller. If I tell it unfiltered and hit books online, you'll notice I get a lot more information than I can look in. Okay, for the index, let's say I want to know how to create a table. I simply mouse over this, let index pop out, and I type create table. Some really cool stuff here. And press enter. And notice at the bottom, this flew up. Okay, same situation. Okay, this flew up. If I click off of it, it flies back down, but if I mouse over it, it flies up. It automatically took me to create table, but it's letting me know down here with this fly up, hey, there's some more information. If you want to see this on the mobile edition, and that's what it brought up because it's the first one, whoops. If you want to see Transact SQL, simply double click on that one. And notice, it's taking me to that one. I come up here, this, the bottom portion slides out of the way. I can now scroll through and notice all this is the syntax on the statement, the, tr the create table statement. Then down here it goes step by step through all the syntax choices that I have and what each one means and what my possible uh, inputs are on those. So you'll notice there's quite a bit of information out here. Microsoft done a fabulous job with SQL Books Online. The best part of this, notice if I pull to the bottom, is you start to see examples. Notice the examples section. And they show me an example. This shows a column definition for a primary key with a clustered index. On and on and on. Well, notice all I have to do, if I want to use this somewhere, I used to have to cut and paste, but not anymore. I just simply click Copy Code. All I had to do was mouse over there and click that. Now, notice if I go out to Start Programs Accessories, kick off Notepad, all I have to do is right-click and paste and there's that information in my notepad. So very easy to get information out of this uh, Books Online. So Books Online is the place to go. One other thing I want to show you real quickly you need to be aware of, you need to go out to Microsoft's website, and right here is the URL. Okay, and I'll click off of that so you can see it. 
This is Books Online. This gets updated from time to time. You can download this and run it as an application on your machine. But if you'll notice, there was a December update to Books Online, and you may want to go grab this and use it, but Books Online is the premier place to grab information for help with SQL Server.